Hey, Brendan O'Connell here. Welcome to my channel. Um, checking out my stream, my camera, looking off to the side, making things work. Um, yeah, this is just a little test. So what I'm looking at today is the actually the just the core release for WordPress 6.7. Um, we've got some release highlights here that we're going to check out. The main thing is that we've got the 2025 theme for the upcoming year. And this all this stuff will be released, I think it's like in the end of November, sometime like maybe mid-November. Look for it around then. Should be here before the end of the year. Uh, we're looking at the beta today that was just released. So I just wanted to kind of just jump in and check it out and show you guys maybe a little bit what's in there. So I've got the beta page pulled up for the 6.7 release, and you can you can download it a couple of different ways. You can download it directly. You can get the tester plugin. You can do it via CLI. And what I'm going to do is open up the WordPress Playground because this is something I haven't used a ton. I mean, I, I you know I feel like it used to be kind of buggy, or at least it was in the browser I used. Uh, but anyway, it seems to be working pretty well. I you, you, It actually just is loading an entire WordPress instance in here for me. So it takes a little bit of time to, to kind of spin that up. But um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty handy. Uh, the other thing, I don't know if uh, I'm going to mess it up if I click here. I'll just wait. Um, but, you know, we have a whole uh, WordPress installation here. And I can go, you know, to my admin. And it's just running here right in the browser. Um, the other cool thing is that there's, there's this little like separate bar up here that's separate from the URL. You want to make sure you don't refresh because it'll reload this whole thing. So that's like a, it's like an instance within a, a browser almost. So I can click this and I'll get um, different versions I can install. So I can like, uh, let's see, I can add a playground and I can add like the, the like bleeding cutting edge version, right? So I could like... Uh, Pick the nightly version, change my PHP version, whatever. You can change all this stuff. It's pretty cool. So, you know, it will create a whole other separate playground um, within the browser here for me. So, and I can switch between my various installations. So, these are full WordPress installations here. Um, and so I can kind of click in there. We're seeing some of the fun React stuff just kind of popping in and out. Um, but here is a blank install. You can see I don't have all the different pages. Um, but let's check out the theme editor and let's check out 2025 here. So <clears throat> this is, I guess, the homepage that comes with 2025, which is kind of interesting. It, it's it's a not um, no real styling like you see in 2024. Um, but one thing that we're going to see here is an, a new icon up here. And this gives us a zoomed out view. And so... I am I am really liking this um, sort of almost Figma esque. I won't I don't know if I'd go that far, right? But but you can add um, patterns directly in um, in here and like just how you would add blocks, but it's sort of like a zoomed out bird's eye view. Um, and so you have some options here on the side. You can kind of move these around just like you can blocks. You can just like randomize it, I guess, too, and just like pick a different version. You can edit that and it'll take you in directly to edit that block. So I like that there is a, a sort of a forward-looking design aspect that um, gives people sort of a comprehensive view of like their design. So I, I think this is a pretty cool uh, addition, even though it's, you know, it's not going to be widely used maybe at first, but uh, I, think it, I think it's got its use cases. And of course, if you're not using FSE, it doesn't, doesn't help you out a ton. Got to be using a block theme for this. Um, but what else? We've got the uh, 2025 theme. Um, some highlights of the 2025 theme for me, uh, you can tell a story with rich collection of, yeah, there's a bunch of patterns which we'll take a look at. But the other thing is that there are now block variation styles on in the theme. Um, and so what that looks like is, let me pull up the styles here. And these are my global styles, right? So I can edit my global blocks. And if I open up one of these blocks, like the group block, you can see I have these style variations here now. And there's the, they're going to be, um, you know, you can make variations on each one of these. So if you want to change the colors or even the uh, fonts and things like that directly on the various variations, you can do that. So here's like a pink one. Here's, you know, 
bright yellow or whatever. So there's some um, various options. There's like a dark version. So you have like a light and dark version, at least that you can sort of pull right off the, right off the shelf and you can come in and edit these. So if you don't like that, that pink, you can, you know, whatever you can change it to something a little lighter, or of course you can go back into your, um, oops, let's go back to colors. You can edit your palettes. And the other thing is that it comes with a bunch of other palettes here. You can see it's chosen this first one, but I can click through this and see all the different um, color options that come with this. And of course you can, uh, you could, you'd have to edit these through the, through the JSON, but um, you can add custom colors, of course, right? So um, we're able to do that. And that should let us, that's gonna be one of our palettes there. So I should be able to like go back to the group block um, group block and like one of these could be changed, right? So like background could be like that. So you're able to override your global styles. And then if I come in here to like, let's say, um, I want to edit one of these and select this. Let's, um, there's a group block, uh, styles. So now we have our different styles. So there's that obnoxious red that I just added, but you have um, various styles that you can choose pre-selected, right? So that gives you, um, I mean, that's a, that's a great addition, honestly, that there's a UI for this now. You uh, used to have to define these. Uh, I, think you, I think you still do have to define them at the theme level, uh, but the, this, this theme comes with a few of those um, built in. So you're ready to start customizing. So I think that's a that's a pretty nice change too. Uh, so we have block, yeah, block variations. Um, we have the zoom out, compose with patterns. Very cool. Uh, you can upload <laughs> iPhone images, I guess, to the media folder by default, which you know is kind of handy, I guess. Clients don't have to reformat those or waste your time. Uh, expanding block support, preview options API, refute. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff in here to to check out. Um, let me just go back to my notes here. Um, let's, so we, we just looked at the 2025 20, theme. We looked at the style variations. We looked at improved data views. Or we haven't looked at that. Let's, let's just open that real quick. So um, if I go back to my edit in sort of my global site area, um, I can look at my uh, patterns, for instance. And I, I also really like this, that, that, that the, uh, the core team is, is putting some emphasis on, um, how, how we can sort of restyle the UI to customize it a little bit. So um, this, this grid view has been around for a couple of releases, I believe. Uh, but now there's additional filters in here. You can choose the numbers per page and you can change the sort of the aspect ratio of the patterns. If you really want to get a, a detailed look at them or if you want sort of a more bird's eye view, you can do that. And um, you can also like hide uh, various things. So like you could hide the sync status if you don't want to see if it's synced or not. I'm not sure really why you would do that, but um, you can't hide the title or anything like that. So, um, but you can also change this to a table view. And the other nice thing is that these are all editable too. Um, so you can like move the, the title, you can move the sync status there. Um, you can show the preview in the column, right? And you can change the, the orders of these columns to kind of move around a bit. So um, there's a lot of ways to, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but it's it's a nice sort of addition to be able to um, display our patterns, display our various things. This data view is it's also going to come to the admin UI, I think. I, don't quote me on that, sorry. But uh, I believe that this same thing will be how we can view our posts and view our custom posts and pages and things like that uh, in the admin uh, UI. So that is data views, which uh, gives you a little more granular control over, over these types of things. So that's, that's kind of nice. Um, we talked about the zoomed out view again, uh, the improved query block. Okay. So you can select custom posts uh, directly from the UI now, I believe. Um, so let's just go back here. Let's go back and add a CF real quick. Um, Let's just add a quick custom post type. And we'll check out the query block. I know this is a big sticking point for um, 
people that, you know, particularly my viewers that use bricks, they're very used to a, a very advanced query option that you can nest queries, you can do uh, meta queries and things like that. So uh, it's not going to be quite as powerful as that, obviously, but, uh, you know, it's approaching that that status, though. So um, we could just do people, people, and I will add a people. Let's add. Who should we add? Let's add, add Matt Mullenweg. This is my bio. He's been in the news lately. Um, all right, we can add another person. Let's just add, add a John Doe, whatever. This is the bio. And I just want to publish these. Now, also, I'm, I'm seeing here, you can see there's style variations for um, text now, too. This is included with the theme as well, it looks like. Sorry to get distracted here, but oh, there's a little, like, I don't know. I don't know why it went way over there, but uh, you can change the, the styles of the text without, um, you know, changing, changing it on the ID level. It's sort of like a pseudo... No, no, it's not a pseudo class, but you get the idea. All right, so we have our two people. Let's go back to our homepage and edit the site. All right, so this is our blog home template. And so we have a query block in here, it looks like. And you can say it to default will inherit the, the template query, or you can say custom. And now there's a drop down here to select your, you know, custom post type, right? So there, it's already pulling in the the people there. You can change it. Uh, you have a couple filters here. You can do newest, to oldest, or ascending, descending alphabetically. Um, I think this is also new. You you uh, you can choose the post per page. So you, if you only want to show like two, and then it'll automatically, I think, add pagination. Um, and then there's some filters here, so you can filter by author and you can filter by keyword. And if I had categories, they would show up here, right? So that um, it, it, they would show up here so you could filter by a certain category. So it's nice to see improvements within the within the query block as well. Um, so that is, that's very nice. Uh, improve styling support. So there's been additional things added. I know that, you know, one of the big things is they've added the border option to a lot of blocks, I think almost every block. I saw a big long list. It looked like a lot of blocks. Now you can add a border. That was, I know, missing for a long time. Um, but I think more importantly here is the, um, you, there's a now toggle for the fluid typography. Okay. So if we go back to our playground and we open up our global settings and I look at the typography, uh, we also see all the fonts here. You don't, you, you still, I think only see them if you hit manage. Uh, that's a lot of fonts. I don't know why we have that many fonts. It seems like too many fonts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if I look at the like headings, let's check the headings and okay, well, where's my fluid typography? I thought there was fluid typography for font size presets. So small, oh, okay. So we, got, we have our presets, right? For a small to extra large. So let's just look at the extra large and you can, you can see it's already using fluid typography. So you can change the, the maximum there and it will um, change that across the board on the maximum level. So that's nice to see that there's uh, custom fluid values that you can override uh, particular headings and you don't have to always have fluid typography either. You can toggle it off, I believe on the individual level. So if I uh, click into here, Um, well, that doesn't seem to be working. Title. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There. So that's, that is working. Um, so yeah, that is, it's pretty nice to be able to set that. I thought I'd be able to, to come in here and set what I want to, the fluid clamp value to be, but I don't see it. Let me see font. No. So I might have that wrong, but my understanding was, let's see, fluid, fluid typography. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I guess that's the only mention on here. So I don't know. I'll have to dig into that a little more because I thought you could override it with your own clamp value. Uh, okay. Anyway, what else do I got in my notes here? Uh, block variations via PHP. So I don't have this ready to like pull up or anything, but you, now the block variations can be defined with P, you know, PHP instead of with the JSON. So uh, it enables the server side processing for the dynamic uh, variations. Uh, it should should improve performance for like especially with a lot of complex variations and allow easier integrations with the APIs so that it can tie in directly with them. So because it's server side, so um, that should give a sort of simplified way to, for plugin developers to extend blocks potentially and to to style them and provide um, block variations. So that should be a nice nice little boost there for developers. Um, I know that it's, I've covered not at all anything close to <laughs> even half of it. There's a lot of other stuff. There's a lot of like particularly developer stuff with new API stuff. I will hopefully get into that a little more. I'd like to review that and just sort of get, get up to speed with what all is going on there. Uh, but that is the bulk of the release. So that I just wanted to kind of get into FSE world and, and just kind of check out what is going on there what is ready, what's not ready, the changes that are coming. I don't spend enough time really going through all the stuff that's in all the releases for core because I, I just end up using bricks a lot of the time to design sites. In fact, most most every site um, I've done recently has been on bricks, but uh, I do like to keep my, my foot in the door of what's going on in FSE land and check out all the different releases. So. Uh, if you want to come check out what is in this release, I will leave a link to all this stuff. I might write up a little blog post for my website. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend coming and checking out the WordPress Playground. It's a great way to test what's um, available in upcoming beta releases and, and the upcoming um, production release for the uh, WordPress project. So uh, definitely come check it out sometime if you have some minutes to spare. It's really easy to just get in here. And if you notice anything that seems off or, or kind of weird, uh, you can go in, and leave leave uh, notes in the, uh, you can check out like known bugs, right? So you can cross reference. Like if, if you find something like, hey, this doesn't work right, we'll come in and, and track that you, you can search the track, which it's, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, you can check, uh, you can check, Check it against, I don't know, you can go in the Slack channel. You can check that out. I don't know. Um, there's there's lots of stuff to get involved with. I know it's not always easy, but it's, um, it's there. It's available to you. You can get in there. This is how you shape what is going to get added to the next releases. I mean, you can come in and, and leave comments and give feedback. And, you know, it's never guaranteed, but that's how, that's how it has to happen. You have to come in and put in that effort, too. So... Uh, just, just leaving, leaving you with that and, um, yeah, happy WordPressing everyone.